first front tooth, she got sixteen dollars. Think my pretty. I think my kid's doing pretty good for herself. I think, I think her parents love her. <laughs> Very yeah. See. I've got several people in here that'll tell you that my kid is taken care of. She's my only child, so she gets whatever. My only living child. My son would have been nine this year if he would have been here. He would have been taken care of as well and spoiled. I mean, you tell me, what kid has two toy boxes? Three. Three, technically. Three. There's one. There's two. She has two toy boxes here and one of my storage unit full of toys, so. Oh, God. She don't got anything, though, guys. That poor kid. She's suffering. Oh, my child's 80 pounds, too. She's seven. Pretty sure... Pretty sure if someone was gonna call CPS or doctors would have been now. And if they did, if they were gonna call CPS, they were gonna call CPS because I'm overfeeding her, which they haven't, because she's healthy and happy. And the same's with their school. If they think if they thought something was seriously wrong in my house, they would have called. So, good luck to you. Wish you the best. You do know false reporting's illegal, right? And you can get in trouble for it. People are idiots. I'm not worried about them. <laughs> they don't scare me at all. I'm shaking in my boots. Hmm. Of course they're not. Because they know that they're being, they know that they, they just put their foot in their mouth. They're stupid. Dumb people. All because I need some food that, some healthy foods I can, so, also I can have foods I can eat so I don't, you know, make myself sicker. <laughs> Anyways, back on subject. People are idiots. But uh, June 4th, my baby girl turned 7. She's going to be 7, guys. She's a second grader. Where does the time go? You know, y'all should have warned me when, you know, when she was like an infant, a baby, that before I knew it, she was going to be 7 and, and in second grade. Like, it, time flies. Like, I got told that a lot, and I'm like, no, no, it don't. <laughs> it does. Before I know it, she's going to be 18 and graduated and out of my house and no want nothing to do with me. She's going to look at mom and be like, yeah, I want you. Nah, she'll always love her mommy and want mommy. No, no, she's a daddy's girl. That's for sure. She is a true... A true daddy's girl. Um, uh, so. I just don't get it. Why do we have idiots like that in this world? Like, how do they even manage to survive? So has anybody heard anything more on the TikTok ban? Because the last I heard, September. Somewhere, sometime in September, this was, TikTok was officially gone in the United States. Is that still happening? Hi, Jenny. You ain't gotta be afraid. You can comment. Is it, Kate, is it Kaden? 
Is it going in September? I mean, I don't care. I just need to know so I know when to download my, get my data off of here, all of my vids, all my vids, my videos, so I has them, so I don't lose them. I ain't worried, yeah, like I said, it don't bother me, like, if anything, I think they should do it sooner, I think they should get rid of it in July. Give people enough time to get their stuff downloaded, then yank it. Because anymore, this app went from being fun this app went from being fun and enjoyable to absolutely shit. What do you mean? You're zipped? What? I'm confused. Oh, sh... Like, when I started TikTok, I started it back in 2015 when my son was alive. And I did that for fun when I was in the hospital. Like, it was actually Musical.ly back then. And then I never really did anything with it until about 2018. I started making, I made a couple of videos here and there. And then, um, it wasn't until 2019 that I started actually trying to make videos. And... Um, well, if you're going to order stuff off of TikTok Shop Chalice, I'm going to send you a list of things I want off of here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it wasn't until like 2019, I started making videos here and there and like doing some trendy, some of the trend videos and whatever. And then I was then trying to get a thousand followers to go live fighting for it and everything and then I I, uh, I quit I gave up because I wasn't getting anywhere I wasn't getting very many views and at that point I really wasn't like yeah and then in, uh, it wasn't until I got cancer that I started actually fighting for a thousand followers to go live so I could have people so I could uh, I could have people follow my journey and go live and talk to people that have been through what I was going through and kinda of just make friends it wasn't until early late January early February of last year that I hit a thousand followers that was my old account that was uh, my Harlequin 1524 account, or 1517 account. And then that's when I got involved with Sammy, and then crap went down with them, with her. And then I got involved with Lauren Speaks Up, and then I lost my account because of her. She got my whole account taken permanently. But I this account was the first account I ever made. So, I luckily had a backup account at that point already. So, I just, I, when I realized that this was my main, I had this account, I just, I went on an app, I went on a site, bought a thousand followers for this account so I could go live right off the rip, and then ever since then I've just been building. So, I will say a thousand of my followers are not true real followers, they are just fake. AI made accounts just so I could go live and I ain't afraid to admit it and if you guys want the ad if you guys want the uh, site I'll give it to you 
you can buy 500, 1,000, 2,500, and 10,000 followers. Probably how a lot of people get their get up to 10,000 followers become a uh, to get the create to be able to do like uh, the monetization and create and like get like you know like do the create a creator like things like on here like have like make money but um most of the time most of the time my lives are just chilling talking about how my day has gone what I've gone through like how my work day went like who the how many idiots I dealt with my like what's going on with my health and everything like after I go to the doctor I give the update like I seen this doctor today and this is what the plan is like and yes sometimes I will get on here and ask ask my followers and friend my friends for help because there are people on here that care about me and want to see me do better and and be stay alive and be healthy so some of them want to be helpful and for those that keep trying to tell us not, them not to do it it's their money and it's their life if they want to do it they they can you can't control them Like, how much you guys want to bet I, I'm on Reddit now? And if I'm not, boy, am I going to be surprised. I know I already got one. I already know I'm on Reddit one for one post on Beck Talk. Shall we check? Shall I go over there, get my laptop, and log in and see? Must be, uh, let's see here. Let's see if I've officially ended up on Reddit, on Reddit yet. And if I have, I don't care. If I have, I'm gonna laugh. Oh, you like my sticker on my laptop? I put it on there. Here's my name. It was for my pump, but I had to. For, I had it for my other pump, but I took it off. I need some place to stick it. It's how it's it's my little pony. I had to stick it somewhere. And before before you guys lose your mind, I've had this laptop for a couple of years now. Okay, I bought this with my income tax in 2022. I got this laptop way before. I became broken poor. Not that it's any of your business how I got it, but just to let you know. Can it's been permanently banned? Like perma ban, perma ban. Two windows open. Do I have two windows open?
see, never mind. I'm not on Reddit. Chels did it for me. Thanks, Chels. I was going to say, there should only be one post about me. Oh, and there, <laughs> it's not even there anymore. It's gone. See, can I just point this out too? I'm I'm gonna flip my camera. Do I really look like any of these motherfuckers? Do I look like I like like come on? Most of these people look just they look like they're on something. Like, like, bro, come on. Oh, God, I got tangled in my hair. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing. Okay, guys, just just to point that out the out there. Let's see if I'm on this one too. Yeah. Uh, people are ridiculous on this. People are ridiculous in general. Like, this is what I mean. Like, these people on here... Like, for, for, for example, yes, talk. Pamela Parkinson's hater. She doesn't have Parkinson's. People like that who have no physical proof of their illnesses or problems on here begging.
there's a difference. I have physical proof I have issues. I have all of my diagnoses tagged and pinned to the top of my TikTok page. I have a feeding tube in my stomach. Like, yeah. And like some, half of these people just don't. It's just astounds me. <laughs> you guys got whoever, if you guys are in here, you have five minutes to say something and talk, or you guys go. I have too many people on here that like to start shit and are watching me and if you are watching me, GTFO. My god. Like have has, has anybody has anybody gotten on Beg Talk on Reddit and just scrolled through and looked at half these people on here that on there that are begging? Like this. They got Mama Tot up there. Like Mama Tot. Like leave Mama Tot alone. But like, do I really, do I really look like half these people? Do I really look like that when I'm trying to ask for help? Like, is that why everybody goes off on me? Because, like, that one's got to be on something. That one definitely just looks like she doesn't care and is lazy. She's, she's just saying. Just point it out. Just point the facts out. Yeah. I definitely don't look like I... Like, I can... I show you guys proof of everything that I... Why I need it. Hell, I've taken you guys to the store with me when I have gotten money and shopped. Poop on her chest. This this one looks like she's got poo on her chest. She got poo on her chest. Okay, I definitely... It's like, look! Look at this! Like, does that not look like poo on her chest? Ooh. I, I gotta... I gotta get off of here. Brody. I'm somebody.
No, I'm just spying on Lauren's page. I'm banana from it permanently on all their accounts. But... Did you guys also know that Lauren no longer, like, Lauren never needed the oxygen, and she's not even on oxygen anymore. She just wears the nasal cannula for attention. And, yeah. Now she says she has gastroparesis and needs a feeding tube. And she lost her case against that worker, too. They did not let her get a restraining order. Because Lauren had no evidence against this lady. But this lady had so much proof against Lauren on how she treated her. On how Lauren treated her. Yeah, Lauren is a big cat. Lauren's definitely got Munchausen's. There's Lauren. Look up Lauren Speaks Up. On Reddit. It'll be Lauren Speaks Up Scam. You'll get the idea who she is. Somebody that I fell victim to and regretted that. Eh. Regretted that so much. I need to update my laptop. It's so slow. I need to clean it too. Does anybody know how to clean laptops? I may got any insight on how to do that. Yeah. Lauren is not liked at all. Like I'm pretty sure that most of TikTok and freaking Like, actually, somebody's made a couple of freaking pages on her on TikTok, too. Calling her out. Posting videos on her. I'd like to know who that person is. So I can shake their hands. Of course. Dude. Why didn't you keep me logged in? Continue with Google. Hey. Yeah, I know. It is insane. You're right. Speak your truth until you die. Speak the truth. I've been spying 
I have so many accounts to use as spy accounts. People keep finding it. Like this, Chels, into all. I want to point this out to y'all. I have not said anything about this person, right? Nothing. Nothing. What's this? Why? Like, what's the point? Like... It is posted that it's crazy. Like, I haven't even thought of it and talked about it in a while. Nor do I care to. I don't, I don't even think about it at, at all. The funny thing is, is it joined my live the other day. On her backup account. Yep. When was this posted? Four six. There we go. She may. Broken, I broke it. I know exactly why. Because you're not Jordan's friend. You're playing both sides of the field. Even though you were just with us not long before that. Mad dog and Megan. Yeah, Megan. She told us a lot. Talked a lot of shit about what you did to her. Which is shocking that she would suddenly be buddy buddy with somebody who did a less horrible version of what they're doing now to them. So yeah, that's my first issue, Jenny. No, there's a video. Wouldn't allow the stalker, the harasser, the bullier of their friend into their live, into their box, mm -hmm. and to talk mad shit about it. Chels, you still in here? A real friend would have drugged Megan for everything she was fucking worth and exposed everything that she was fucking doing. But you didn't do that. Oh, but now you're trying to make up for it. By, Call me on Facebook. Uh, I'm into my life. And saying shit to me. 